Hello again, everyone. Thank you for joining us. I hope you're all well. Okay, so back in Lake, and um, yeah, I'm starting where I left off. So we just spoke to uh, the lumberjack, and um, yeah, now we've got some parcels to deliver. So um, I'm going to fast travel here. I think we're doing something tonight as well. So if I remember right, the lumberjack is doing something with the DJ so we're going to be meeting him after work anyway I hope you're all well hope you're all having a good one I certainly am I've just done a five minute job on a car and it only took about two and a half hours so that's a win with a five minute job and genuinely I haven't cut my hands at all and I was working under the bonnet so yeah I know you won't believe that but um yeah, my hands aren't cut in the slightest. It's a really, really nice feeling. Maybe things have changed. Right. Yeah, and I have been trying to um, take this a little bit seriously, this game, but it's just, it's very different. That's why I've been uh, messing around a little bit. So I am sorry if anyone, um, yeah, doesn't like me messing around, but it's just everyone's take on um, different games isn't it some people play games ultra seriously whereas some just um yeah try to enjoy them right uh we're going to drive from here because it's making us go very slow and i think we've we've delivered to maybe this one here yeah because it's a little bit overgrown i'd like to get in there with um my gear uh we'll go this way I did actually, because I used to be a gardener, and um, I'm a chainsaw operative as well. And uh, there was an abandoned house on a road where I did some work before. And all the people that were paying me to um, yeah, do work for them clubbed together. And I went and did a whole day at this derelict house, just clearing it. And I my goodness, it bring the package. made so much difference to the neighbourhood. Because... Obviously, teams were going in there for somewhere to hang out. Um, I wonder what that is. That's a chainsaw with a chainsaw break. Very good. It's this derelict building. Yeah, the teams were going in there for somewhere to hang out because there's no youth clubs that are any good in the UK anymore. Knock on the wall. Nope. No answer. Um... Yeah, and unfortunately, teenagers sometimes choose to burn properties down. Right. Away we go. So I might have done even better than I thought. We're going to go up here just in case we bump into um, Mackenzie. So the chainsaw man's got a rival now. Right. Big old trees. So we do have some kind of medium sized trees in the UK, but nothing compared to America, of course. And our trees aren't all bloody straight either, unfortunately. They're all crooked, which makes it really difficult to fell them. Um. I'm tempted to autopilot again, but I bet not. It's, yeah, cheating myself out of the game, really, isn't it? So, on a scale of 1 to 10, seeing as I don't usually play this kind of game and I don't usually even enjoy this kind of game, that's going to affect the rating. But I'd say that I'd give this... 8 out of 10 for what it does and I'm not this video isn't sponsored so yeah that's not bad is it I'd, yeah if I had lots of free time then I'd probably enjoy this a lot more because obviously I could have my own music on and I wouldn't be narrating so I'd just be enjoying it and I'll find out how much it is on the Steam Workshop in a moment because I don't think I've ever actually mentioned the bright. But yes, I got this for free from Frankie, so thank you again.
Yeah, so we'll be in there later. Oh. oh I should have looked out for the caravan, shouldn't I? I can't remember where that is. That's why. Right. Oh, no. Dialogue time. It's dialogue o'clock. And we haven't actually been up there yet, I don't think. Right. Perfect. Right. 500, just like the Fiat. Big old box. Hi, Kay. Package for you. I thought I might as well give it to you now instead of, you know, waiting till you're home. Oh, thanks. That's super amazing. Thank you. Uh, what? It's nothing illegal. Um, I wouldn't ask either of these questions. It's none um, of her business. What is it? Oh my god. I'm so excited about this. Yay! I see. This is a guessing game. All right. Is it a... <laughs> a new rocket? <laughs> no, but that would totally make Grace's day, though. I should be able to craft something like that out of the cardboard packaging. Good idea. Okay. You don't have to tell me. I mean, if it's illegal. Okay, you ready? It's actually a Yamaha DX7 synthesizer! My oh goodness, man, she got I'm that out super quick. stoked this arrived so soon. I got this amazing deal on it through the classifieds. This old guy was selling it. Apparently he had never really used it. I mean, what? How? Can you imagine owning something like this and not using it every moment you get? I mean, this synth is used everywhere these days. So I was like, yes, this is mine. <laughs> Sorry, I can get carried away about this kind of stuff. No kidding. To be honest, you lost me around the time you opened the box. But if it works like a computer, sign me up. Computers, eh? Oh, wait, are you a programmer? Because if you are, you should totally check out the Insonic Mirage. If you like sampling machines, you should totally try out programming. Oh, man, I would love to. So much to do, so little time. Listen, Em, I totally owe you for lugging this around for me. Now, what will you have? It's on the house. Rum. Uh. Nah, I'm good. Happy to help. I owe you it is. Apparently, I have some baking to get started on now. But good to see you. And thanks again. No problem. Have fun with your synthesizer. Yes, thanks. Okay. So I wish I'd done programming at school. It kind of skipped my generation. So no one in my school did um, programming. And I'm 36. But yeah, the kids these days, they're learning programming from a fairly young age, and I think that's excellent, because, um, yeah, it gets them, gets them a little bit more aware, doesn't it, for the future. And once you learn that kind of stuff, you um, pick it up easier if you want to go into more depth later on. Same with languages. So yeah, if you've got kids, try to encourage them to... Uh, learn a second language yeah it's weird that it kind of skipped a generation because my dad he's uh yeah he's got a lot more knowledge of programming than i have and obviously he's older believe it or not right Yeah, and it's a job that you could potentially do fully remotely as well, which uh, would be amazing. Why are some of the envelopes bigger? I wonder whether they're kind of priority or something. They might be. Right, which one is it? I reckon that one. Hmm. These look like bills. Stop being so bloody nosy. <laughs> T 
So when you post an item in the UK now, you have to, um, at the post office, you have to say what's in it. And, um, yeah, I always, because I'm a joker, oh, package, because I'm a joker, I always say something ridiculous. Obviously not if it's, if it's electronics, if it's got a battery in, then that's a different story. But, um, yeah, if it's something that isn't volatile or anything, I'll just make something up. And it's quite funny, because I have to write it down. Right. Alright, I'll leave it on the doorstep. So one of the last things I sent was an 87 foot inflatable banana. In a shoebox size box. So yeah, they love me in there. Right, on to our girlfriend. I don't know if she is our girlfriend. I'm not really sure what's occurring. Oh, she, oh, she's standing the other side of the till. Okay. Right. Three fiddy one. She's wearing oh, flares. Hey you. Hi. Oh no, it's a skirt. So I'm guessing you want to rent a movie, huh? <laughs> We've got a great selection. Actually, that's not what I'm here for at all. Wait, you're not telling me you're here for little old me. <laughs> so, what's on your mind, babe? Don't call me babe. Um... Oh, no. <laughs> uh... I am really sorry I'm if I've picked sure something that you don't want me to pick. Happened the other day, of us, so to speak. I mean, we went out, we had fun, we kissed. What do you need, a road map? <laughs> well, when you put it that way... Just spit it out, gal. Tell me what you're thinking. I promise I can take it. Oh god, that's too much. That's way too much. But that's dumping her, so they're both too much. Oh, God. Oh, don't be dishonest with things like this. I think I'm starting to like you. A lot. And I'd like to ask you to be a little less awesome. It's distracting me. <laughs> no can do, Miss Weiss. Being awesome is my thing. Would you ask Rocky to stop boxing? <laughs> Touché. So anyway, what's on your mind? You look a little distracted. <sighs> yeah, uh, I just... You ever get the feeling you're not where you need to be? Yes. Yeah, I know that feeling. I know it all too well. It's just that... This whole Flick Shack adventure, I think it was the right idea at the wrong time. Wow, is business that bad? Ah, and here I was hoping our movie box project would turn things around. <laughs> it almost did. Don't think that it didn't help. That's what I mean with the wrong time. I'm sure video will be huge. But it isn't. Not yet. Not here, anyway. So you're leaving? Yeah. Yes, I am. Wow. I, I didn't realize until just now that I'd already made my mind up. But I guess I have. I'm leaving. Gosh, it feels so liberating to say. <sighs> you're welcome. How about you? Have you made your mind up yet? Uh, about your future, I mean? Me? No, not yet. Well, take your time. I want to give it my full attention when you do decide. And right now, I really have to start organizing the grand closing of the Flick Shack. We hardly knew ye. I hear ya. I'll swing by later. 
You can't. You're at the farm. Yeah, so I'd be asking where she's going. Oh, she shut the door on us. Um, yeah, and as for not belonging somewhere, so I don't feel like I belong in the UK, um, as some of you are aware. Ballarded myself. Yeah, and I, from a fairly young age, I felt like I don't really belong here. I feel different to uh, the way British people are becoming or have become. Especially in my area. Yeah, so I think I was born in the wrong country. Right, so Jackson Street. Okay. Just listening to the music, the lyrics. Alright, I'll leave it on the doorstep. These are busy people, aren't they? And she doesn't leave it too long. Right, back we go. Yeah, it's just too... Too quick in the UK for me. Too much pressure. Not enough time to relax. Everything's really fast paced, especially where I live. And it's, yeah, it's just not what life should be, is it? And then I think to get the state pension, I have to be about 96 or something like that. So I'm basically going to work until I'm dead. Anyway, positivity. Right, so I think we've just got two more now. Perfect. And imagine how simple life would be back here. So, no internet. Not that much in the way of electronics. There we go. No Tinder. Oh, what am I doing? All right, I'll leave it on the doorstep. Probably very few TV channels as well. So when I was growing up, there was four. So instead of, yeah, watching TV or whatever, it just went out. It was so nice. And simple. Right, we really overshot that, didn't we? That's the last of them. Nice. Okay. Right, so we're at about 19 minutes. So let's um, get a move on. I imagine people were a lot healthier, so mentally, emotionally, because obviously, yeah, lots of people are affected by um, things like social media, thinking that they should look a certain way and all that kind of thing. And, um, yeah, and also there's a lot more... Uh, it's a lot easier to change relationships now, isn't it? Okay, folks, it's showtime. Robert, are you ready? Yes, but before we start, I'm not a pro, so please bear with me. You'll do great. Okay, Robert, take it away. <clears throat> Fellow Providence Okians, I'm Robert Harris, and I oppose the plans for new apartments on Lakeview Drive. If you feel the same, let Town Hall know about it and give them a call. Let's keep Providence Oaks pretty. Perfect. That's a wrap, folks. Back to work. Hold on. Hold on, Jack. Meredith, what do you think? The text is fine, but I miss a revolutionary vibe. It needs more passion. 
Uh, okay, you might be right. Jack, one more recording, please. Sure, Robert. Here we go in one, two, three, action! Fellow Providence Okians, I'm Robert Harris, and I oppose the plans for new apartments on Lakeview Drive. If you feel the same, let Town Hall know about it and give them a call. Let's keep Providence Oaks pretty. Better? Okay, it sounded exactly the same yeah, to me. that should do it. Okay, that's a wrap. Back to tater harvesting. Meredith, I'm gonna return the favor and help Jack out today. If you lovebirds want to spend more time together, she can come along too. Plenty of work to do. Jack, what the... I better get going. Good luck with those taters. Okay, Meredith. Thanks so much again for helping out. Okay. And yeah, obviously, without all the um, electronics, YouTube, all that kind of thing, you'd be out more, so you'd be more active, so you'd probably better off Meredith, physically as well. Me. Oh, Bugger hi, off. I'm sorry. Didn't get the chance to look at the contracts yet. Oh, you didn't? I'm just very busy. Sorry. All right. Hey, uh, I gotta run. Corporate lawyer appointment. Bye. I know I said I'd do them, but I just don't want to. Right, uh... Oh. I did say I'd do them. What was that open agenda? All right. Here we go again. Good morning, Miss Weiss. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Very good. Good morning, Mr. Morgan. I need to inform you that your colleague Frank Coleman has been suspended. Knock him out. Frank? Suspended? Why? The only thing you need to know right now is that I will be filling his spot for the time being. All right, but where is Frank now? Frank is not here. But I'm a little worried about him. Where is he if he's not here? Somewhere else. Have a nice day, Miss Weiss. Best not murder him. Right, let's have a quick look on the map. Um, can we find him? No, so there's nothing new on here. I think that bloke's probably buried him somewhere. Shame. Providence Oaks, good morning to you. Oh, oh, we can go and see Nancy. Today's contribution is from Matt Kearney. I have a positive. Last night's thunderstorm over the lake. Only four parcels. Oh, she's busy today. Oh, Jesus. You're a bit dominant. Good luck to you. Nancy, still smoking. Are you here to help out with the camera? Actually, no. Well, this door has a large selection, but it doesn't include small talk. My goodness. Lovely to see you again, Nancy. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot less products for sale as well. I know I keep going on about it, but yeah, we're just overwhelmed with um, selection these days. Like my office chair, for instance, it took me about seven years to choose one, and I know I didn't get the best one. I just got fed up with all the selection. Right. Uh... Oh, flippin' hell. Oh, it didn't quite work, did it? Yep, 
Yeah, and obviously, so I said about um, it being easier to change relationships now, which is a good thing, um, because obviously if someone's suffering from domestic violence or something like that, or just, yeah, with the wrong person, it's good that they can just walk away. But I think sometimes people give up on relationships way too quick these days. One of my friends is going through a bit of a messy breakup at the moment. Ooh, and it's interesting. If they're both being honest to me, it's over the most minor thing. But yeah, neither of them want to kind of work work it out because they both think the grass is greener on the other side. Oh. Right. And they'll never watch this, so I think Ooh, she's a trout, mate. Right. <laughs> yeah, not green grass. Okay. Right, we might as well just get these done then, that's the town done, isn't it? Yeah, so it's quite an addictive game. And obviously it's got a story to it as well, so we don't know what's going to happen to Frank. Um, Where do I post this then? What's oh, this? Okay. The Flick Shack has closed down and will not reopen. Any unreturned tapes can be dropped off before September 22nd. It has been a privilege to serve as Providence Oak's premier home cinema provider. Thank you for your patronage. All the best. Your Flick Shack proprietor, Angie. Hmm. So where did she go? And it was easier getting a job as well. My goodness, so much easier. Here's your mail. Oh, Rosas. I don't think I've seen the Rosas yet, the police. Okay. Right, so let's drive sensibly. And it's wet now, so we should get some proper drift in action. Right into first into second the drift gear right so what I'll do I'll um I'll fast travel there uh you can't bugger it uh I'll auto travel there so I'll see you when we put up okay so I thought I'd bring you back in here so we're just going to the farm now and I did promise earlier that I'd um, google the price of this game so at the moment lake on steam is £7.99 um, but it's just about to go up in a couple of days back to £15.99 but I'm sure it'll be on um, offer again sometime so yeah that's the price currently Right, so this is a parcel. Mail carrier Meredith. Hello, Jack. Good to see at least someone's working today. As opposed to you? Yep. Can't harvest taters with all this rain. Luckily, Frank's keeping me busy. You spoke to him? Yeah, just talked to him on the phone. He's mad as a wet hand. It's quite entertaining, actually. Thanks for dropping by, mail carrier Meredith. I gotta get back to it. Okay, Jack. Good luck with the weather. Hope it'll clear up. Thank you much. Okay, so, um, I just had a, another quick look on Steam, so the reviews for this game, very positive at the moment. Um, so, okay, so very positive all time. 
and very positive recent as well. So all time 2,258 people, 86% of them have said very positive. Anyway, so I'll um I'll leave this here. So thanks for watching everyone. Really do appreciate each and every view. And if you've liked this, please feel free to join me in the next one. So cheers everyone. <laughs> and bye for now.